On today's video, we are doing something a little bit different. You guys, you, the subscribers, are roasting my watch collection. It's my birthday today. Uh, I'm 27 years old. And I thought, what a better way of doing my birthday than getting really depressed and reading your comments. So a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago, I actually put out a watch community post and also a post on the watch family group chat on Instagram. And I basically asked you guys to, to roast my watch collection. And what I found out was you guys are really, really nice. Honestly, it's, it's amazing to see such a brilliant, respectful watch community. But then obviously there were a couple that really hit home that really hurt my feelings. Okay, so let's dive into the first roast, if we want to call it that. So this is from the Watch Family group chat. The Tissot PRX green dash. That green dial says, I want to stand out. But the Tissot branding says, I still live with my parents. <laughs> I, I would disagree. I, I don't think that's necessarily true. I think that Tissot is a brilliant brand that most watch collectors have in their collection. And it's just a brilliant place to start your watch collection because it is that little bit more affordable. Normally, we start our collections when we're a bit younger. And yes, I was still living at home when I got my Tiso. So next up, we have one from Josh under slash Webster. And he says, okay, well, clearly you don't actually like the Oris. If it wasn't your first watch, it would have left the collection long ago. Do you keep your first girlfriend around as well for nostalgia? <laughs> oh, it's kind of true. I've not worn that in three years. As for the khaki field mechanical, more like the khaki field non-functional, as it's been broken for about two years now. Has it? Yeah, it has been broken for two years. Rolex called and asked if they could <laughs> they could have it <laughs> for display only. <laughs> uh, it's getting fixed at the moment, to be fair. Guess what? Your Amiga's helium escape valve and your nose have in common. The same unique ability to ruin <laughs> an otherwise moderately <laughs> attractive design. <laughs> Oh, that was kind of hurt my feelings a little bit, that one. But then after that, he says, all jokes, of course, the last one might be below the belt. <laughs> don't hate me. This is all a bit of fun. It's all in jest. And I know that a lot of you guys are actually being friendly here, so don't worry about it at all. And yes, I know, my nose is disgustingly big. Paul Calvi says, I bought a Snoopy for my 14-year-old son, dot, grow up. <laughs> to be honest, I think that more childish watches like the Snoopies and things that have a throwback to a sentimental period of time do resonate a lot with, with people that are getting older. So that's why they want it. It's like, a, it's like a nostalgic link to something. So I do think that in a way, it's really nice to, to, to have that link and to have those memories. But at the same time, you could consider something like an Amiga Snoopy as that little bit childish because it has a Snoopy on it, which is a cartoon. But nobody considers it like that because it's a brilliant watch. So yeah, I can see both sides. Tom-21071976 says the Casio F91W is like the fast food of watches. Cheap, convenient, and absolutely no nutritional value. It's the watch equivalent of that guy who peaked in high school and still wears his Letterman jacket at 40. You know it's time to move on, right? Listen, nobody can flaw the Casio F91W. If you're going to start a watch collection and you have 10 pounds in your pocket, it's the perfect place to go. They're nigh on indestructible, they do the job, and they're okay looking. I think it's a brilliant place to start. Listen guys, on a serious note, I just want to I just want to interject for here really really fast. I just want to thank everybody that's been so kind and and, and kind of thoughtful and considerate on the YouTube community. I think that this is the only place that I can come to truly be myself and kind of not not uh, feel like I'll be ripped to shreds for it because I know the internet can be a really dodgy place for that. So the fact that we've built this kind of community, it makes me, you know, it's awesome. So I just want to say a huge thank you. Okay, let's go to the Chisholm Hunter community tab uh, on YouTube and see see what they've got there. So the, so the top comment is from Any Not Everything. And he says, to be honest, the Oris looks like a fossil. I'll just move on to the next one. The next one is from Joe Conway 4563. And he says, opens Google. And then it's quotation marks. What watches does Adrian Barker own that aren't Rolex? <laughs> does, does Adrian own a Grand Seiko? I don't think Adrian does own a Grand Seiko. I, to be fair, Adrian and I do have quite similar tastes. We're quite similar people and we live very, very close to each other. But I think my watch collection is quite different from Adrian's in a lot of ways. Leg Gal Kim Chi or Chu says, it looks like an AI generated guess of what your average watch YouTuber would buy. All hype watches, no identity. Look, looking at the collection from the left to the right is a good way to help insomniacs fall asleep. 
Oh, oh, it stings. And but then after that, he says, "Love the collection." By the way, you asked to be mean. That's this is what I mean. Everyone's doing this in good jest. I totally get it. And. Uh, Everyone's brilliant on the community, so uh, don't worry. No offense taken. I love all you guys. Will M.8547 says, This is an excellent paint by numbers collection. Bizware, check. Oceanware, check. Can't afford a Rolex, check. You're all good, man. I, listen, I've had this question a lot. It, it's not that I don't want a Rolex or I wouldn't get a Rolex, but. I feel like me going for a Rolex would just be the, the, the obvious option. The thing is, when you start appreciating all brands, you realize that there's so much more to watches than just Rolex. And a lot of people that get into Rolex watches only get into Rolex watches. But I'm interested in everything. So yeah, I, I split my money into lots of different brands, but it's because I love all watches, not just Rolex watches. With that said, the Daytona white dial stainless steel bezel is always going to be a grail watch of mine. It is stunning. Jamie T. Young says, I saw Adrian Barker's video too. There you go, roast it. Yes, I did see Adrian Barker's video. It was the AI roasting his watch collection. Adrian is the daddy, he is the goat. And I thought, why don't we do it a bit differently and, and, and have subscribers roast the collection instead? The thing about content creation is a lot of content creators do a similar thing in a different way. And that's not a bad thing. Adrian and I have both reviewed the Hamilton Khaki Field Expedition, but we both do it in a totally separate way and we both do it using our own identities. So I don't think within the content creation niche, within the content creation circle, it's a bad thing to, 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 to kind of take inspiration from places. And who best to take inspiration from than the daddy himself, Adrian Barker, who's the most handsome man I've ever met. Giovanni Bustado985 says, nice selection of chronographs. Yes, you are right. The, ne the next watch, and I've said this a couple of times, the next watch that I'm going to get is going to be a chrono model. It's going to be the Amiga Speedmaster white dial chrono. And I know you guys are going to say it's typical, it's standard of Harrison, but come on, come on, look at that watch. And then look at me, look how pasty white I am. And then compare me with that watch. We're a perfect match. Reese Well says, Looks like a collection from the AD clearance section after everyone moved on from the most generic watches. For someone so creative, your watches are boring and ready to collect some dust. JK, love the collection, dude. You asked for it, that's all. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> ah, the Seamaster 300 meters. At least it's not a Rolex Mariner, but you're not fooling anyone. We all know you still need armbands in the paddling pool. <laughs> uh. Dallaire Chardson8842 says, it looks like a set of watches owned by a newbie collector who has bought all the watches that people on YouTube have said are great or just jumped on the bandwagon with others. <laughs> Nothing here out of the ordinary or a bit different or surprising, boring. How is there nothing out of the ordinary? I mean, the Grand Seiko American Exclusive literally is a limited edition. It's a very rare watch. So I would say, I would argue that that's out of the ordinary. And then you have the Tudor Black Bay. That's the ETA version. It's the older version. I deliberately got that one because of the smiley text, because of the thinness of it, because it had an ETA movement. I would say that is out of the ordinary. I'm taking this really to heart, am I? I, I, should, I should stop. Thank you guys so much for watching this little roast video. I thought I'd do something a little bit uh, different because I do want to, to kind of vary the content. I don't want to bore you guys. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be using this today, the new Leica. Very excited for that because it's my birthday. So this was my birthday present to myself. 27 years old. That's the true roast. That's terrifying. I'm approaching 30. Anyway, see you soon.